Bora TV. The world is thinking. You know, if someone had told me when I entered Downing Street on the 2nd of May 1997 that I would be engaged in four military conflicts, Kosovo, Sierra Leone, Afghanistan, Iraq, I would have been surprised and shocked. I mean, my mind was full of healthcare reform and pensions and infrastructure and jobs and so on. Um, and obviously, some of those foreign policy decisions, notably Iraq, were very controversial. But he, here's, here's what I think, and I can only tell you what I think, because and there are plenty of people who think <laughs> completely differently. And leave aside a moment, you know, the rights and wrongs of some of the individual decisions. My view of this new terrorism that we face is that we'll, we will not defeat it until we actually take it on completely, its narrative, its ideology, its sense of grievance, as well as the terrorism. And the reason I say that is that, in my view, we've got to stop believing that we've created this or have sustained it. The truth of the matter is September the 11th happened before Iraq or Afghanistan. And if it wasn't those two things, it would have been something else, and something else, and something else. And, you know, we in the end are going to have to partner those sensible, serious, moderate, and modern voices within Islam to change this. But, you know, when people say to me that removing the Taliban or removing Saddam gives people an excuse for terrorism, I don't quite get it myself. You know, you remove two brutal dictatorships and give people a United Nations backed process for democracy and then a $20 billion fund for investment. You know, when I initiated the military action in Kosovo, it was actually to save Kosovo Albanians who were Muslims. But even then, that action is sometimes used as a reason for the extremism. And I honestly believe with this, but I, I know, you know, I'm. Uh, not in the majority on it, until we stand up to this, not just in terms of its methods, but in terms of its narrative and ideas, and take on this notion that somehow this has been caused by us. It's not. It comes from within that religion and culture, and in the end, it will only be uprooted when within that religion and culture, in partnership with us, of course, and helped by us, I hope, the steps are taken to uproot it. And that's one of the reasons why I say, you know, education is really important and is an international concern. It, it just amazes me. When you see what is taught in some schools around the world, it amazes me that we're amazed that we've got this problem. <laughs> we've got to deal with it, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to deal with it by standing up against it and not apologizing for ourselves, in my view.